In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. And St. Oswald, pray for us. Well, the John and Carol Leary uh, Zoom conference yesterday was really wonderful. And Mrs. Leary actually read the new prophecy from Father Mikhail Rodriguez. And that is also on the Frenchman's uh, YouTube, recently YouTube video that he did with some other things on there too. So it's basically regarding having us consecrate our homes and our lives to the Holy Family in a state of grace, obviously. If you're not in a state of grace, you know, it's like putting meat on a dead man's grave. So get your soul cleaned up for the outside uh, can be cleaned up. But, uh, anyway, I was considering how people have so much, uh, they put so much value on intelligence. And I was thinking about this yesterday just because... Uh, just because, you know, I was reading about child prodigies and stuff, and it's always interesting, you know, to read about that stuff. But child prodigies, they can really end up being disasters or even damned because society and even their parents put so much uh, value on intelligence, and it's like a science over faith. You can't have that. And we know from the saints that God brings the most wonderful fruits out of even people who don't have a lot of intelligence. He can bring wonderful fruits. So the whole thing is just twisted up backwards, you know, and forwards. Because you can say, well, a smart person so smart, but are they really smart? I mean, are they going to the sacraments? Are they devoting their lives to God? Are they doing God's will? Are they doing small things for God? Are they trying to make a million dollars doing game shows and stuff with their intelligence and their memories and stuff? When they could be doing more philanthropy and and going into what God wants them to do. And, I mean, it's just tiring, too, if you think about it. Because the more knowledge you have, the more you have to have. And, and it's just like being addicted to travel or anything else. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean you're great. If I want to play violin, you know, 16 hours a day doing this and that, concertizing. I mean, I've been there, done that before, where it just gets too much. I'm like, you know, I need a break from this. I need some time off this is too much and that can be that way with with other things too so we have to be really careful when we see smart people nowadays because they may be actually possessed by devils sometimes uh, or maybe most of the time but also the parents put so much value on their the, their kids intelligence and having them excel or whatever that it's really they become just a pawn for their atheistic parental goals and I think I've been victim of that as well. I think a lot of people have, especially in state schools. You know, these these professors from WSU, they called out their own their own college for, you know, sending all these bum students to them and they can't teach. And that's uh interesting at the state level. Usually you'd see stuff like that more in the religious zone, you know. But in the state level, you know, their standards are just so bad now that the professors are actually uh they're actually speaking out about it, saying, you know, we can't, you know, we don't want to do this anymore. Why would you want to teach people that don't want to be taught, or people that are badly instructed, or people that are just being led there into the sciences by their parents who want to drive SUVs around all over town and, and uh, just look good? Oh, yeah, my kids are majoring in so-and-so at WSU. I mean, it's all just talk, you know, and the poor kids. And then the teacher, the professor there is just like, no, and you know, the kids like I don't even want to be here, and they turn into party animals and alcoholics and dry addicts and sex addicts and stuff. I mean, I don't have to go into more. It's really sick. But anyway, um, so I'll put the links down below. May God bless you. May you have a wonderful last uh, day of February leap year. There's going to be really interesting. Uh, solar eclipse happening where all the planets are going to be in alignment that you some of you can't see with your eye but they're going to be there around the sun it's going to be beautiful i'll put that link down below too may god bless you in the name of the father son and holy ghost amen john larry says with his prophecies the warning's coming soon could it come april 8th or whatever am i a date setter now i mean you know, we always have to have, we always have that little tug in our heart that goes, mm, you know, maybe, but maybe not. Could be, you know, could be not. But we always should keep our eyes and ears open to it. And don't look up at the sun the day of the warning. Remember, that's what uh, Based on Prophecy says, because you would become blind for three days. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us.